Hello and welcome to our Hatha practice. And we'll start today by finding our comfortable seated position. So cross legs, legs out in front, whatever resonates with you today. And wherever we are, we've got the eyes closed to start. And just allow yourself the opportunity here to start to draw your awareness within. We'll start first by bringing our awareness to our body. Feel your body here on your mat. want to sit up nice and tall we've got even weight between left and right sit bones the spine is long shoulder blades rest flat against the back feel your body here nice and strong and open and ready to practice today Move your awareness now to your breath. Feel the way in which your breath is moving through your body. And we'll start to consciously lengthen out here through your breath. Breathing deeply through the nose down into your low belly. Smooth, steady exhale through the nose. Inhaling here and exhaling. We'll continue to breathe in this way for the next few breaths. As we inhale, we draw in prana, life force energy. And as we exhale, we can release any stagnant energy from the body. We can release any tension that we're holding in our physical body. Just return to your natural breath and notice now the natural rhythm of your breath. The theme of our practice today is surrounding our heart center and love. And I'd like to share a quote with you while we're still here breathing. It is from John Lennon and he says that there are two basic motivating forces, fear and love. When we are afraid, we pull back from life. When we are in love, we open to all that life has to offer with passion, excitement and acceptance. We need to learn to love ourselves first in all our glory and imperfections. If we cannot love ourselves, we cannot fully open to our ability to love others or our potential to create. Evolution and all hopes for a better world rest in the fearlessness and open-hearted vision of people who embrace life. Just let that quote settle in your awareness and we'll bring
bring our left hand to rest to our heart center, the right hand resting to the navel center. And we'll repeat the following mantra internally. I surround myself with loving energy and nourish the budding flower of my heart center. I surround myself with loving energy and nourish the budding flower of my heart center. One last time. I surround myself with loving energy and nourish the budding flower of my heart center. Now bring the hands to Anjali Mudra, prayer position at the heart center. As we inhale, we can gently open the eyes, draw the arms up and overhead, let the gaze follow your fingertips. Exhale, hands through heart center. Moving through that again as we inhale. Exhale, hands through heart center. One more of the same here with your breath. And this time as we exhale, bring the arms out to shoulder height. We wanna press through the palms of the hands, press through the heels of the hands. We can feel the arms are engaged. They're working here. And then we'll start to rotate the arms around in one direction. So we'll start to feel the energy moving here through the arms, the arm meridians and then come back in the opposite direction. As we inhale, draw the arms up and overhead. Exhale, hands through heart center and just bring the hands to the front of your knees, palms facing down, we'll move through a seated cat cow. As we inhale, start to open up through the front body. So we'll lift up through the heart center, lift the gaze. Exhale, tuck your chin, rounding your back out. Moving through that again, inhale through front body. Exhale, back body opening. So we're moving through three more rounds of the same here. So we can exaggerate the movement a little bit here to get some more heat and energy moving into your body, into your spinal column. Synchronize your movement here with your breath. One more of the same here with the breath. Inhale, coming back to center, draw the arms up and overhead. Exhale, hands through heart center. And from here, we'll wrap our left arm behind our back. So we can just see the fingertips around the lower back here. And take a hold of your left fingertips with your right hand. And we'll just start to gently pull that arm. So we're feeling that opening through the shoulder, through the side of the neck. And maybe you can drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. You might choose to close your eyes down here. Two more breaths before we move over to the other side. Inhale, gently release, coming back to center, draw the arms up. Exhale, hands through heart center, wrap your right arm behind your back now, take a hold of the fingertips. Just gently pull those fingertips until you can feel that opening through your shoulder, through your neck. Maybe you can now drop your left ear to the left shoulder. Close the eyes down if that resonates. Breathe into the side body there. Inhale, gently release, draw the arms up. Exhale, hands through heart center. From here, we'll come over onto our hands and knees. And we're going to come into 
Anahatasana, just for a few breaths, our melting heart pose. So we want our knees stacked under the line of the hips. We'll start to walk our fingertips forward until we can release the third eye down onto our mat. So here we want to ground down through the palms, the fingertips. And so we can feel that our arms are engaged here. We want to roll the shoulders down. So the shoulder blades rest flat against your back. And every time we exhale here, we can melt our heart center a little bit closer towards our mat. Two more breaths here. Inhale, start to lift the head. And from here, we're gonna tuck the back toes under, start to lift the hips up as we come into downward facing dog. So your choice here, you might choose to stay still in your dog pose. You might like to now bring some movement into your pose, rotating the hips or the spine walking your dog just take the opportunity to notice how you're feeling in your body and we'll be still in the pose now so we're grounding down again through the palms and the fingertips sit bones are tilted up towards the sky you might need to bend in your knees here as we work the heels towards the mat and the heels may not touch but the intention is there As we inhale, bending the knees, looking forward. Exhale, step forward to the top of the mat. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, half lift, looking forward. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, rise up, draw the arms up and overhead. Palms together. Exhale, take a little side bend to the right. Shoulder blades flat against the back. Inhale, coming back to center. Exhale, lean to your left. Breathe into those side ribs. Inhale to center. Once more to each side with your breath. Inhale, coming back to center. Exhale, hands through heart center. Coming into Tadasana, mountain pose. Eyes are closed down. So here in Tadasana, we want to ground down through the soles of our feet. Draw up through your kneecaps so we can feel the legs engage. Draw up through your lower belly, shoulders relaxed, spine is long. Extend out through your fingertips so your arms are engaged. Center yourself here, connect to your breath before we start to flow through some sun salutation. One more breath here. As we inhale, we can gently open the eyes, we'll draw the arms up and overhead. Exhale, fold, fingertips to the mat. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, half lift, looking forward. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, come into plank. And the option is to drop to the knees if we need to. Exhale, Chaturanga, all the way to the mat. Press through the tops of your feet. Inhale for Cobra. Exhale, press back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, bend your knees, looking forward. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, Ad Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, rise up. Lean back a little bit here. Exhale, folding forward. Fingertips to the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, step or jump into plank. Exhale, all the way to your mat. Inhale for cobra, move your shoulders away from your ears. Exhale, dog pose. Inhale, bend your knees, looking forward. Exhale, step or jump to the top of the mat. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, rise up. Lean back a little bit here. We'll move through one more round of the same. So we'll flow through now at our own pace. Using our breath and we're using our sun salutations to start to build some heat in our body. We're synchronizing our movement here with our breath. Once we've finished our last salutation, we'll come to stand tall in Tadasana once again. Eyes are closed. Just notice the qualities of your breath. Feel your heartbeat, feel the heat in your body. Gently open the eyes, draw the arms up and overhead. Exhale, fold, bring your fingertips to your mat. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, step back to downward facing dog. As we inhale, we're going to float our right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, Step the right foot forward and then we're going to slide the right hand through behind the line of the left fingertips. Turn over to the right side body and we'll start to lift up here through the heart centre. Float those left fingertips. Breathe deeply into your front body. Inhale, coming back to centre, float that right leg. Exhale, step the right foot forward and keep your back heel lifted for now. We're setting up for a variation of warrior one. As we inhale, we can bring the torso up. We want to square the hips and the shoulders off to the front. Press through the heel of your back foot so that back leg is engaged. I'm going to take temple mudra here. So thumb and first finger together. And we're wrapping the other three fingers around. As we inhale, we can draw the arms up and overhead. Warrior one. So here we want that root to rise action. So we're really rooting down, grounding down through the legs. We can feel the legs are working strongly here. And we want to rise up through our upper body so we can lift up through the heart center, lift the gaze, shoulder blades flat against the back. Breathe deeply into your front body. One more breath. From here, we'll release the right hand beside the right hip. Inhale, draw length into the spine. As we exhale, come into a side bend. So we're drawing that left arm across the ear. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, left hand beside the left hip. Draw the right arm across the ear. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, draw the arms to shoulder height. We're rotating here towards the right. Really extend out through those fingertips. Use the inhale to lengthen the spine. And as we exhale, we can rotate a little bit deeper. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, bring the hands through heart center. 
You want to step the back foot in a little bit, coming into a little balance pose. So from here, we can draw the left knee in towards the chest. So wrap your hand around the front of your left knee. So spine is nice and long. Find your drishti, your gaze point here to help you balance. Ground down through the sole of that right foot. Smooth, steady breath. Once you're ready to come out of the pose, inhale slowly with control. We'll release our left foot back to the mat and then press back into downward facing dog. Just reset yourself here before you flow through that sequence on the left side. As we inhale, float the left leg. Exhale, step the left foot forward and then we'll slide the left foot behind the line of our right fingertips. We'll start to turn onto the left side body. Lift up through your right fingertips, lift up through your heart center. Inhale, come back to center, float the left leg. And exhale, step your left foot forward. Keep your back heel lifted. And we're setting up for that variation of warrior one here again. Inhale, draw the torso up. Torso is squared off to the front. Press through the heel of your back foot so the right leg is engaged, it's working here. Taking temple mudra. As we inhale, float those arms up and overhead. Exhale, sinking down. So we've got that left knee stacked over the line of the left ankle. Make sure you can maintain your breath here. So breathe deeply into the front body. Keep lifting up higher through your heart center. One more breath. From here, left hand beside the left hip. Right arm draws across the ear, come into that little side bend. Inhale to center. Exhale, right hand to right hip, draw the left arm across the ear. Inhale to center. Exhale, draw the arms to shoulder high, coming into that twist, so we're rotating now towards the left. Extend out through your fingertips, use the inhale to bring length into the body. As we exhale, maybe we can rotate a little bit deeper. Inhale, coming back to center. Exhale, hands through heart center. Step the back foot in a little bit, preparing for that balance pose. So hug that right knee in towards the chest. Spine is long. Find your gaze point. Smooth, steady breath. Once you're ready to come out of the pose, slowly with control, release the fingertips and your right foot back to the mat. Press back, dog pose. The option is also to come down to forward stretch. We can bring the knees wide, hips to heels, arms along, and third eye down to the mat. If you haven't already, bring ourselves back up into downward facing dog. As we inhale, float that right leg up once again. Exhale, step the right foot forward and the same as we did earlier, we're sliding the right foot behind the line of the left fingertips. Turn over to your side body. So this is option one where we can stay. You might prefer now to come a little bit deeper and turn yourself over into wild things. So we're starting to lift up a little bit further through the heart center. Extend out through your left fingertips. Inhale, coming back to center, float the right leg. Exhale, 
heels, so if your right foot forward, gently drop down to your back knee. So if you need padding for your back knee, you can take a little pillow or just fold your mat over. Coming into present lunge, so option one, we can stay here, resting the hands to the front of the right leg, ground down through the sole of that right foot. Option two, as we inhale, float the fingertips up. And if we're taking that option, just make sure your shoulder blades are flat against your back. Smooth, steady breath. On your next exhale, bring the hands down through heart center. Both hands come to the inside of our front foot. So we can either stay working here, working on our inner hip opening. And if we're staying here, we wanna draw that right knee in towards the midline. Keep the gaze to the mat and keep your heart center open. Keep the spine nice and long. Option two, if we're going on, is to bend our left knee. And then we're going to circle the right arm around, take a hold of the top of the left foot in the palm of our right hand. Easy inhale to bring the foot away from the body. As we exhale, draw that foot a little bit closer. So we'll keep working in this way for the next few breaths. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, move a little bit deeper. And one more of the same here with your breath. Inhale, gently release. From here, coming back over into downward facing dog. As we inhale, float the left leg. Exhale, step your left foot forward and slide it behind the line of your right fingertips. Turn over to your side body. So this is option one. Option two, if we're going over into wild things, start to lift up here through your heart center, extend out through those right fingertips. Inhale, coming back to center. Float the left leg. Exhale, step your left foot forward, gently drop down to the right knee. Get that padding for your back knee if we need to. Coming into Anjayasana, option one, pop your hands to rest at the left knee. Option two, if we're going on, float the fingertips. So here we're grounding down through the sole of our left foot. Allow those inner hips to start to open up here. Shoulders are relaxed, lift up through your heart center, lift your gaze. One more breath. On your next exhale, bring the hands down through heart center, We're bringing both hands to the inside of our left foot. And we can stay here, we're hugging that left knee in towards the body. Spine is long, heart center is open, the gaze is to the mat. And we can stay working here using the exhale to create space in the inner hips. If we're going on, we can bend the right knee and start to float those left fingertips. Take a hold of the front of the top of the right foot in the palm of the left hand. Use the inhale, press the foot away from the body. As we exhale, you can draw that foot a little bit closer. And again, we're just working in this way for the next few breaths. Really strong opening here for the right quadricep, the right hip flexor. Inhale, very gently release. And from here, we'll just swing our left foot back, coming into forward stretch, knees wide, hips to heels, arms long, third eye comes down to the mat. Just pausing here, just grounding ourselves. Inhale, 
we're going to do with the head. And from here, we're coming over onto hands and knees, and then we can bring the torso up. We're preparing now for Ustrasana, which is our camel pose. So we want our knees under the line of the hips, and then we want the ankles in line with our knees. We've got a nice square shape here. We want to bring our hands to our sacrum. And we'll just work into this pose to the degree that's going to enhance our practice today. We want to draw the elbows back. We'll start to open up here. Draw your shoulders back. Start to lift up through the heart center. Maybe you can lift your gaze if it feels okay for your neck. You might stay here, you might be able to create a little bit more of a back bend. So pressing the hips forward, lifting the gaze a little bit higher. If you've got a nice healthy neck today, you might be able to drop your gaze behind you. To come out of the pose, we'll tuck the chin towards the chest, leading with the heart center, coming back to center. And we'll just pause here. Hands at prayer position, eyes are closed. So our back bends are invigorating in their nature, so you might feel the energy rushing through the front of the body. Coming into Ustrasana again, so we'll set up in the same way we did on the first round. Knees under hips, ankles in line with our knees. And we can take the same option that we did on the first round, so over here. If you've got a nice open back and you know that you can go a little bit deeper, you might choose then to come down, bring the fingertips down to the backs of your heels. So same again, we're really drawing up. We can press the hips forward, draw up through the heart center. And if we're here, we can either keep the gaze forward. Again, if it resonates with you here, we can drop the gaze behind us. Breathing deeply into the front body. Once you're ready to come out of the pose, Chin towards the chest, leading with the heart center, coming back to center, gently release. Come back to your comfortable seated position, the eyes are closed, we're pausing here. Feel the energy moving through your body. Gently release, and from here we'll bring ourselves back into forward stretch for just a few breaths. Just give your lower back the opportunity to release. all the way down onto the mat or on our stomach. And coming into Sphinx pose, so we're on the forearms. Forearms are in line with our shoulders. We want to ground down through the palms, the finger pad, the same way as we did in our forward stretch, in our downward facing dog. We want to press through the tops of our feet. We're threading the heart center forward, the gaze is straight ahead. And really press through the palms of the hands here so we can feel the arms engage, we can feel the energy moving through the arm meridian. Can either 
stay here if you'd like to go on. We're coming into half wheel pose. gently release you can pop one hand on top of the other just use it as a little prop for the third eye to rest feel the energy again through your front body feel your heart beating against your mat As we inhale, we can lift the head. We're coming into child's pose, so bring the knees wide, rest the arms beside the body, third eye down to the mat. And again, just allow your lower back here to release. into your back body, feel the back and side ribs expand and contract with your breath. Inhale, slowly lift the head. Come on up to sitting and then we bring ourselves all the way down onto the mat. And we're just feeling the mat beneath us here. From here, we'll extend our left leg straight out in front. Right knee stays bent. We're coming into a twist. So we'll bring our right knee over towards the left side of the mat. Draw the right arm out to shoulder height. So we want to keep both of our shoulders grounded to the mat and we're turning the gaze over the right fingertips. So a bit of a counter release here for those deep back bends. So you can feel a nice release here through your lower back. Getting a nice rotation here through the spine. a nice cleanse here through the abdominal organs. As we inhale, gently come back to center. Just realign your spine here so the spine's nice and long on the mat. And then we'll extend the right leg out, left knee is bent, draw the left knee over towards the right side of the mat. Left arm out to shoulder height, keep both of those shoulders grounded. Turn your gaze over your left fingertips. Starting to slow the breath down a little bit here as we prepare to come into our final rest in Shavasana. Each time we exhale here, maybe we can rotate through the spine a little bit deeper. Inhale, gently release, come back to center, just realign the spine here again. From here, we'll draw our knees in towards our chest. Just take a little gentle rock here from side to side, so that's a nice little release here again for the lower back. Coming back to center, bring those knees out nice and wide and then hug the knees in towards our body. 
So we can either stay here if you'd like to. We have the option to take happy baby pose. So I'll take a hold of the tops of our feet. So turn the soles of the feet towards the sky. Our fingertips come to the outside of our feet. Press your feet and your hands in towards each other. Ground the sacrum down to the mat. Now just a little bit more lower back releasing. You can also feel an opening here through the inner hips. And again, it's an option for you just to take a little gentle rock here from side to side. Coming back to centre, gently release, draw the knees in towards your chest once again. Start to roll around in one direction. And then come back in the opposite direction. Coming back to centre, gently release. We're setting ourselves up now for Shavasana. The spine is nice and long on the mat. Legs extended, arms rest beside the body. The eyes are closed down if they aren't already. And just allow the weight of your body to melt down into your mat. Just make sure that you're not holding on to any residual tension in your body. This is our time now to rest, to rejuvenate. Smooth, even soft breath. I'm going to leave you now to have your own experience in Chavasana. Please remain in the pose for a minimum of five minutes. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me. Namaste.